Today we're talking with Josh Ruth from Fuller Town and Country Properties. Josh, thanks for being with us. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for having me. When you started out, you were listing and selling homes like every other realtor out there, but now you've kind of morphed into a new area of, you're like the foreclosure guy in Fuller Town and Country. Well, I still do my regular business, you know, regular sellers and buyers. Um, but back in New York, my family was a real estate company and we had office space and one of our tenants became Countrywide Home Loans. So throughout the process of negotiating the lease and whatnot, um, their in-house broker asked me if it's something I'd be interested in looking into. So I said, sure, didn't think much of it. Um, came back to Denver and started looking through the, the MLS and noticed there's quite a few of them. So I got in touch with the Countrywide lender that I use for most of my, you know, my buyers and um, she kind of got me set up and, and went from there. Is it hard working in this end of the business? I mean, some realtors are saying to themselves, geez, you know, you're working with people who are getting kicked out of their house or they've been kicked out of your house. I mean, what's it been like? Um, not that bad, honestly. I don't come in until after that whole process is done with, so I'm not involved in any of the, you know, the legal matters or, or evictions for the most part. Um, and I just kind of separate it. I look at it as a corporate-owned property that's owned by a bank or a corporation, and they hire me to sell it. You know, the other thought is is that you're, you know, you're driving in depressed areas of town and you're seeing some really dilapidated, you know, beat-up properties. Is that all true? It is. I mean, there's properties in the metro Denver area that range anywhere from $20,000 condos, but up to $3 million homes. I mean, they're homes in neighborhoods um, that you wouldn't expect. Foreclosure affects every, um, every you know, income level. Uh, you know, a lot of, a large percentage of foreclosures have nothing to do with interest rates. They're, you know, medical, uh, medical emergency or loss of job. So anywhere from, you know, your, your Aurora up to Cherry Hills Village. Hard part of the business and good part of the business. Hard part of the business is that you get a lot of lowball offers. Really? And, you know, it's not as quick. You don't necessarily get a deal together in a day because it takes a little bit more time to get stuff pushed through from the seller's end point. There's a lot more paperwork. Um, the good part of the business is there's a lot of business. I mean, yeah. they, are, they are good clients. They keep you busy. Um, and just like any reload company that has lots of people moving in, you know, they keep feeding you. You get some good stuff, you get some bad stuff. Buying any for yourself? Can't, actually. Really? Um, a lot of them will require you to sign something that says you will not buy your own properties. Hmm. Reason being, you help determine the pricing for these yeah. properties. So you never want to get caught up in, oh, did you price that low so you can buy it? It's kind of a conflict of interest. Fascinating. Thanks for being uh, with us. Very welcome. Appreciate it. Find more real estate videos at brokeriptv.com.